Hey, what's up guys? Davis Scarapore, Circle of Drink. Just want to make a quick, quick video on how to properly prepare Sherba Mate. So, get yourself a gourd. Oh, I'm sorry, a gourd. Get yourself a thermos. Yeah, you'll need a gourd, but that comes later. You need a one liter thermos, at least one liter. And fill that liter up with quality, quality water. The water expresses the essence of the mate, and a good mate begins with good water. So you don't want to use faucet water. Absolutely not under, not under any circumstances. Unless, of course, you have a really good filter that's going to remove the chlorine, remove all types of parasites, rust, iron, cryptosporidium, all types of garbage that you don't want to be drinking. Uh, preferably use some waters like, uh, let's say, <clears throat> spring water, some really good spring water or distilled water. If you have distilled water uh, at the supermarket or make your own distilled water. Or if you want to go all out, go crazy, get yourself a Kangen water. Uh, which is a really really good water machine. It actually filters water through gold and changes the molecular makeup of the water But that's a whole other story. Basically get some good water. Step number one Now obviously pour the water into the kettle But leave a little bit of the cold water on the bottom just a little bit. I'll tell you why in a second Now get yourself some fine sherba mate. I've been drinking this uh, pajarito uh, I'm studying Paraguayan mates right now, so I figured let me get the best stuff from Paraguay. Pajarito being one of the uh, most well-known brands out there, Paraguay. So fill up your gourd. You know what to do. Put about one half to three quarters of mate in your selected gourd of choice. Now, basically take your hand, one hand, hold the other hand over, and do your whole shake. You're shaking it, there's sort of different reasons why people explain it to you. Personally, I'm shaking it so I could get a hollowed area to add the water, this cold water that I saved here. Uh, now I'm going to add that into the hollow, and it's going to form sort of, it's going to keep an area of it dry, you want that dry, and then you pour the water into there. Basically you created that hollow so you could add the cold water, and it'll be, act as a sort of a vacuum situation where you're going to put the bombisha in later through here. You're going to add the hot water through here. Here's your dry sherba. This dry sherba is going to be used later to reincorporate as the mate becomes lavado over time. You're going to reincorporate this sherba into this and it's going to become stronger and prolong the, uh, the cycle of the mate. So that's why you have the little bit of cold water stuck in there in the, in the thermos. Now very important, take off the cap of your Kettle. Now look for the little, 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 little small bubbles down there. The ancient Chinese tea masters called them fish eyes. Look for the little, little fish eyes or crab eyes down there forming. I know you can't see them well because the contrast, there's no contrast with that being a white kettle. But now I'm beginning to see some fish eyes down there. Now here's the trick. Once you see the fish eyes, wait a little bit until the bubbles start to get a little bit bigger, medium sized bubble. Once you see the medium sized bubbles appearing, then you take it off. So there's three stages of boiling. I don't want to get too complex with this preparation, but the three stages of boiling are uh, little, little baby bubbles, small bubbles that are very small, maybe a little bit larger than the size of sand grains. Then you have what you could, what you could call medium bubbles little bit larger. Then you have large bubbles, which you don't want, which are the size of, of pearls. And then you have an outright boil, as if you were making pasta, you don't want to boil. That makes the water absolutely dead. You cannot use that water, throw it away. 
Uh, so what you want is the you want the the boil that's between the first and the second. That's what you want. Now take your thermos over here. Grab your kettle and you want to hold it like this. Notice how I'm holding the kettle inverted like this. And then you pour. Fill that up. Fill that all the way up. There you go. Get your cap. And then, where that hollow was right there before, if I could show you that, there you go, that's where you start adding the hot water. Get yourself a bombisha. Add the bombisha, you want to get a nice bombisha. This is a nice one, one of my favorites. Add that in there, like so. If you're the server, drink it two times first, then pass it off. There you go, salute. David Mate Scarport, circleofdrink.com. Let me know what you guys think about this Mate preparation. Peace.